So the goal is you want to track dynamic or variable conversion values on your website. Um, people check out and purchase an item. Um, those values are different. Some of your items are a few dollars, a few hundred dollars, whatever it is. You want to be able to track accurately the amount of money your Google Ads campaigns are generating. Um, so to do that, first step is log into your Google Ads account, tools and settings, uh, go to conversions. You'll end up on this screen. Click new conversion action. I'll just jump through it real quick. Website. Um, you can scan this website thing if you want. Um, sorry, let me. But we just need to set up a purchase conversion tag here. So we'll walk through that in a second. Um, so you, you can do it this way if you want. I'm going to show you the, the other way. We're going to add conversion action manually. Purchase, name it however you want. Use different conversion value for each one. Enter a generic value here, 10 bucks, whatever it is. You want to count every one because every purchase is important. Um, edit these however you see fit. Your attribution model, um, view through window, um, engage view conversion window, all the different conversion windows. Click done. Um, I've already done this, so I will show you. And then you're going to have this. It'll probably say unverified until it will say unverified until you install it on the website. Um, so now that that's done. This step is done. You need to jump into your WordPress site, go to plugins, um, add new, and this is the plugin that you want. Pixel Manager for WooCommerce. I'll put a link to it in the comments below. Um, it's the easiest one I've found to quickly set up dynamic conversion value tracking, and you can also select either the order total or the subtotal. Um, subtotal meaning no taxes or shipping are included. That's what I usually like to go for because it kind of gives you a better picture of, um, you know, hey, we spent a thousand bucks and we made three thousand bucks, and I know that shipping and taxes aren't included in that figure, so it's just a, a cleaner number. So that's what I prefer. Um, once this pixel is installed, um, it'll be here under WordPress or under WooCommerce, Pixel Manager. You're going to click on that. And you're going to want to copy and paste these numbers here. Where do you find those? They're right here. Tag setup. I just click on use Google Tag Manager. We're not using Google Tag Manager, but this gives us the information that we need. So copy conversion ID, paste it in there. Copy the um, purchase label, paste it in there. That's the second one here. OK, and then go into advanced. And this is where you're going to tell it whether you want to track the subtotal or the order total, right? Um, click Save Changes, and everything should be done. Now let me set this up. We'll do a test conversion and show you how it works. So go to your website. I always log out of WordPress um, before I do this. So it's just like the interface is just like that of somebody visiting it. Um, and then just find a cheap item. You're going to do a real purchase on it. Um, so just whatever it is, whatever your cheapest thing is to do. You're also going to want it when you're doing this to make sure that you have Google Tag Assistant because that's going to show you. So it's showing you um, the global site tag, which is the Ours is the 328. Again, you know, you just take the last couple of numbers there, 328. And then it's counting a, a page view or something here as well. Once we get to that thank you page, that thank you conversion page, we sh we'll check this one out again. So let's check out, and I'll put all this in and be right back. Once you have all your information put in there, your name and whatever credit card number, um, you're going to click place order. And uh, then that's going to take you, obviously, that'll take us to the, that confirmation page, which is what we're going to check. I'll be right back. So now we're on that um, confirmation page. The order has been received. This is an order it's telling us here. So we're going to look and make sure that the subtotal, this site doesn't charge shipping, but we're going to, if it did, you know, the subtotal would be 13101, and then it would be like shipping taxes, total would be something else. Um, but in any case, we're targeting the subtotal amount, 13101. Um, so we go into our Google 
uh, tag assistant here. This is likely the uh, just a page view. That's the page view conversion that we set up um, because every page view is counted. Um, but we do have a second one, as you can see here, Google Ads conversion tracking. If you click on that, um, we can see that the value it's passing through is 13101, which is correct. US dollars conversion label ends in FQO. Conversion label ends in FQO. So that conversion tag is set up. That will pass through the variable transaction values um, from your website to Google for purchases that are attributed to your Google Ads search shopping performance max campaigns. Um, so it's as easy as that. Again, the link to this plugin I'll put in the video description below. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I try my best to answer them all. Thank you.